my name is Miss Tiffany and welcome to Learning with Miss Tiffany. Today we are going to be learning about the life cycle of a pumpkin. But before we start, we need to call my favorite teaching helper, Mr. Stripes. Can you help me call him? Say, oh, Mr. Stripes. Let's do that one more time together. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, Mr. Stripes. <gasps> Here he is. Hello. Hi, Mr. Stripes. Welcome to class. Let's go ahead and sing our hello song before we get started. Hello, hello. And how are you? Hello, hello. Let's clap to two. One, two. All right, Mr. Stripes, I heard that you brought something to class today. I did. Do you want to go and grab it? Yes, I'll be right back. <gasps> okay, are you guys excited to see what Mr. Stripes brought with him to class today? <gasps> I am too. <gasps> Here he is, he's back. What did he bring? A pumpkin, that's right. <gasps> How fun. Where did you get this pumpkin from, Mr. Stripes? I got it from the pumpkin patch. Oh, the pumpkin patch, that is awesome. Have you ever been to a pumpkin patch? A pumpkin patch is a place that grows pumpkins and then they sell them when it gets close to Halloween. That is so much fun. What a great pumpkin you picked out. I have a little song that I'd like to sing about a pumpkin. Would you like to hear it? Awesome. So it goes, I'm a little pumpkin, orange and round. Here is my stem, it grew in the ground. When it's time to harvest, don't you shout. Just cut my vine and pick me out. <gasps> Yay! What a great pumpkin. So we are going to learn about how a pumpkin grows into being a pumpkin. So that is called the pumpkin life cycle. So let's go ahead and put this away and we will get started with that. So before it starts out as a little tiny seed. <gasps> Mr. Stripes has a picture of our pumpkin seed. And what we have to do with our pumpkin seed is we have to plant it in some soil. That's a fancy word for dirt. So let's pretend we're doing that. So let's dig a hole and put a little pumpkin seed in the soil. Now cover it up, and then it needs two more things. It needs sun and water. Can you make your arms like a big sun and give your pumpkin seed some sun? And then pretend you're holding a watering can, and let's give it some water. And now it's starting to grow. Oh my goodness, I wonder if it's going to come out just as a pumpkin. Oh, it's not a pumpkin yet. It is called a sprout. Can you say sprout? Good job. So our little sprout needs to grow some more to become a pumpkin. So we need to give it some more sun. Give it some more sun and some more water. Okay, let's see if it grows into a pumpkin this time. It's growing, growing. It's not a pumpkin yet. This is called a vine. So now it has grown into a vine. So it's not a pumpkin yet, so we need to give it some more sun and some more water. <gasps> Let's see if it's going to be a pumpkin this time. It's growing, growing, growing. <gasps> it's not a pumpkin yet, but it has this cute little orange flower. Isn't that pretty? So it still needs to grow. Do you think my orange flower will turn into a pumpkin if we water it and give it some sun? I do too, let's see. Let's give it some water and some sun and let's watch it grow. It's growing and growing and growing. It is a pumpkin, but something's different about my pumpkin than the pumpkin that Mr. Stripes brought from the pumpkin patch. Hmm, this pumpkin is what color? Orange, that's right. And my little pumpkin right here in my life cycle is green. So I think we need to give this some little, a little bit more sun and water. So let's go ahead and give it some sun and let's give it some water and let's see if it will grow. It grew into an orange pumpkin. We did it. Good job, friends. Yay. 
All right, now what we need to do is cut open the pumpkin. We're just going to pretend. So after all of that and it's grown, you cut open the pumpkin and inside of the pumpkin, there are seeds, just like this one. And you could take the seeds out and plant them and start the pumpkin life cycle all over again. Isn't that so cool? So that the next fall, you'll have more pumpkins. Yay! All right, I was wondering if you would like to do a little movement game with Miss Tiffany and Mr. Stripes. You would. All right, so I have some pumpkins with numbers on them. And on the back of the pumpkins, it has little actions that you could do. So my first number is what? What number is this? One, that's right. And then what number is this one? Two, good job, you know your numbers. And three, and four, and one more, five. I have five little pumpkins. And let's see, which number should we pick first? Which one of these should we pick? You think we should start with number one, our first pumpkin? That is a good choice. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this is a fun one. It says to spin in a circle. So let's have you guys stand up and let's see your best spins. Ready? Spin! Mr. Stripes is spinning too. Wow! Don't get too dizzy. All right, let's stop spinning and pick another number. So I have two, three, four, or five. Which number should we pick next? Should we do five, our biggest pumpkin number? Let's see. This one says to clap your hands. Let's do five claps for the number five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So now we have two, three, or four left. Hmm, should we pick number two? I like number two, let's see. Oh my goodness, this one says to hop on one foot. That is super tricky. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand up and you have two feet, pretend these are feet on the floor. And you are going to lift up just one foot. So one foot is up and one foot is down and we are going to hop. Now that was the number two. So should we do two hops? Ready? One, two, good job. Okay, so I have two numbers left. I have number three. And number four, which one should we pick? Should we do three or four? All right, let's see what number three says. Oh my goodness, it's another hopping one, but this one's going to be a little less tricky because you could hop on both of your feet, two feet. And since that was the number three, should we do three hops this time? All right, ready? One, two, three. Good job. Okay, we have one number left. What number is it? Four, that's right, the number four. So let's pick the number four. And this one says to roll your arms. So Mr. Stripes is going to show you. You go like this and you roll your arms and let's see if you can roll them really fast. Ready, set, roll really, really fast and really slow. And fast again, fast, fast, fast. Good job, friends. We picked all of our pumpkins. That was great. I hope you had fun and that you did some of those little actions with me and Mr. Stripes today. But it is almost time for us to go. Before we go, if you liked this video, click the subscribe button so you can see all of our circle time videos. And also give this video a like. Let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song. Ready? It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say a big hooray and then be on our way. Bye friends, thanks for coming.